Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion. If you don't know, now you know. We start here with Chapstick. This is the crazy troll nation of YouTube. The crazy because we just have fun on our channels. And we enjoy the channels that we watch. The troll part is not caring too much about what the beauty community standards of beauty are. Wear whatever brand you want to, use whatever tools you want to, and whatever technique you want to to get your makeup on your face the way you want it to. But, also self-acceptance and self-love. Embracing your natural features, enhancing them if you want to, but not because you feel like you have to. No, boo boo. Love you for who you are and for how you look. This is what else you will see here. Okay, so we, we, we had a situation. <laughs> I used the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Wear Concealer 4N, which is perfect for me. Under my eyes and around my nose area, it does self-set. But because, let me back up. The second time I used it, <laughs> the little spongy part fell off. And so I used a lot of force with my scissors and just cut it off of here. And so what I used to apply it with is a lipstick applicator. This is the one I use, that's why it looks like that. Unused, this is what it looks like. So it's not bothersome, because it does really just fit in there. So now that can go in the trash. So why this looks like this is, I was using a powder foundation again, and I had been setting it still, even though it self-sets the concealer, even though the concealer self-sets, excuse me, I know I said that backwards. I had been setting it with the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Translucent Powder, because I don't want, sorry for that click, the powder foundation to stick to it more than I want it to. And so I set it today with the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder, which is translucent. It did not play well with that concealer at all. As soon as I tapped lightly, it was crack city and not the New Jack City type crack, like cement crack. And I was like, oh my goodness. So foundation I used NC42 on the center of my face. And for the rest of my face, the NC44.5 for blush, I picked it up at random, Pat McGrath, and this one is Paradise Venus. If you're clinking, so I'm putting stuff up as I show it to you, for highlighter, Mo Honey Kilowatt from Fenty. This was gifted to me, and I am really enjoying it. And so that is my highlight. Yeah, it's shinier than my other ones, but I do dig it. And for bronzer, we're using the Mario, what is it called? Can I be any more awkward? Soft Sculpt Bronzer, and this one is in dark. Even though I like the tone of deep a lot better, this one is easier to use because it's hard for me to do too much because of the color of it. And so, brows, la di da -di, we like to party. Um, came in a subscription box and I am really liking it so much so that when I received the email from Ipsy and from Boxitrana you can shop I went looking for this and I did not see it so sorry for that for all the powder products this is the brush I used the elf putty primer applicator brush I didn't use this part I just used this for the powder foundation the highlighter the blush and the bronzer and to set under my eyes um yeah, so I'm going to prime my eyes and we're going to get into this palette and what we're going to do today. I'm holding it upside down, but either way, this is still the middle row. <laughs> and we're going to do... This to me looks more orangey, because I was going to do first half of the lid and top it with this, but this looks more orangey. So we're going to do first half of the lid, top it with this, second half of the lid, top it with this. We're going to use this as transition. We're going to see what it's going to do. And one of these on lower lash line. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to prime the eye, come back. We're just going to jump in. Before that, I know, I know, I know it's always something with me. We're going to put NYX Retractable Eyeliner and Snatched on our lower lash line for whatever shadow we're going to put under here. We're going to edit out doing the other side and when we come back for real this time we're going to 
jump into putting on the eyeshadow. So much for editing that part out. All right. We're jumping in with the center shade. I was thinking about how I use palettes when I first receive them because I don't always do looks that are my preference. And so I thought about it, analyzed it, and I realized that I do go for more simple looks such as this palette going by rose or doing columns just to see how the shadows work and for the lighter shades as you've noticed I do layer because I'm unsure of how they will look on their own and once I've used every shade in the palette because by then I have a feel for it then I will go in and experiment and hop around the palette and do different types of looks more so that are what my aesthetic is as much as possible with whatever palette that I'm using because I was really like why do I do these monochromatic light looks when that's not really my thing and I was like hmm but that is why and so I just wanted to share that tidbit with you so as much as I question life and other people I also question myself and I think that's a good thing because I do think it is important to know why we do the things we do when we do them, even if we don't always do it all the same, at the same, all the same, if we don't always do it the same. But I realize with new palettes, I do have a tendency to just do what I think will be an easy look, something that will also look nice. Because when I experiment, sometimes stuff don't turn out right. We're going to flip it over, go into that last shade in the second row. These, oh, why um, does this look like the same shade? I'm going to hold this palette up in a second and show you. That is so disappointing to me. The two reddish tones and the Fete Provence look the same. It was another palette, they look the same. This right here on the first half of the lid is this shade. This shade on the corner, that's this one. And it looks, it looks a little bit deeper, maybe a little warmer than this one. I would have liked to have had and I know you know you don't want a brown or a black in every palette but something to offset the lighter tones in here or even a deep rich purple because we have you know this shade here and like this purple over here um, I'm always disappointed when two shades look the same on me because it's, why are you there that could be a different shade that'll add something more for me because this may show up these two may show up different on someone else but for me i'm thinking that could have been something else or a shade to deepen the look like the we want to move on sponge tip applicator we're going to go into the second shade in this middle row this is not picking up well on this sponge tip like it's really not but this is this and we are going to top this I'm gonna edit the rest of this part out because um, it's not wanting to pick up and I don't want to take too long so I'm going to edit out the rest of this and also putting this on the first half of this eye we're going to turn this to a completely clean side and go into the fourth shade in the second row you know what? I was going to top this over the first one because it looked orange, but because they look the same, those two match look the same on my lid, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. That really disappoints me, like seriously. I'm going to edit out the rest of this process and also edit out putting it on the other eye. Um, the way I'm feeling right now in this moment, I am glad that I didn't pay full price for this 
because this is disappointing this and this looks the same you can tell that this is more orangey than this one but it's still not much different and yes i did top so maybe they will look different on their own that may be something i'll do another day we're going to take the first shade in the second row and just use that up here once again, when I say something makes me look ashy or dusty, this is what I'm talking about. And it may not look like that to you, but to me, that's what I mean. So that's disappointing as well. Because I didn't think that's this shade. I didn't think it was going to look like that. This one, yes, I would think it'd be dusty in my transition area. But this one, I didn't think it would. And it does. And so that's disappointing as well. So out of these five shades... I'm using for this look. I like the shimmers. And I'll see if my thoughts change once I use them on their own just over a primer or over a base. But as of right now, I am just really disappointed. And I am a Nomad fan. Y'all know this. And I mentioned in the first look that I did with my collab with Molly Shani that I didn't purchase it because I wasn't sure about it. And um, I'm glad that I didn't, to be honest with you. And then my third look, I'll be like, oh my gosh, this is the best palette ever. So what I'm saying now is just based on this look. And I do remember liking the first look I did. I just didn't like it for me because that's not my personal preferred aesthetic. Um, but I do see why people like this though. So th this, this, this is just bland to me. We want to take some of this and we're just going to run it under here. And then we're going to take one of those mats and put under here. Even though we could just really leave it like that because we have that red under there. We're going to go into the red, the color that's at the end. And I did just tap straight in like this, tapped in twice. And we're just gonna put that here. I don't even feel like doing liner and mascara because <laughs> I'm not feeling this. <laughs> but you know me, if you've been here, I'm gonna do more looks with this palette. And what I'm thinking will excite me is using maybe like these two columns here. Because this is a deeper tone, even though it's really kind of not. But I'm curious about this one. But the next look will be with this row. Because it's just easy to use the colors in a simple way. Just to get them on and see how they perform. As I was talking about earlier in this video. So this, it's not an ugly look. It's not a bad look. I just like bolder colors. And for those two matches to show up the same on me it really disappoints me seriously so i'm going to edit out doing liner i'm going to use a brown one again today since this is you know a neutral look and we're going to do mascara and then we're going to come back for a liner we use max dip down and a brown it's their fluid line sorry for the clanking for mascara we use ether beauty big bang from a subscription box i'm gonna write ball hello tapstick because it's so simple, um, we're just going to use the, I was going to say the Nars Laguna. I'm going to try and spice it up though. So you know what? I'm going to take Fenty Beauty Stun It and Unveil, which is a brown. And we're going to top it with one of those shimmer shades because, just because. I'm going to edit out. No, I'm not. Hang with me. While you're watching me do this, let me know what you think of this look. The Fenty Stun is, I know I said it before, hands down, favorite liquid lip liner. You saw how quick that was? Right. Right. Um, I'm going to use the brush that I used for... No, we're not. I was going to say for one of the matte shades. But let's do it right. Let's do it right. Let's do it right. We're going to take... Hmm, 
And this one, the more rosy tone one versus the more orangey one. And we're going to tap in. I didn't say what brushes I used today. Eastman Hourglass, and this is a Fenty. I don't know. This wasn't a good choice. You know what? I like the lip. I like the lip. I'm tapping. At first I didn't. Then I looked at it for a few more seconds. Yeah. 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 The lip, yes. I I do like the look. It's just not my preference. I kind of feel like that's going to be my theme for this palette. I like the mascara. I like the effect from the mascara. I like the lip combo. I really do like the lip. That's bad when you do an eye look and you like the lip better. But anyway, if you have this palette, let me know what your thoughts are. And again, this is a color store. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to go. Thanks for being here. Stuff will pop up as usual.